To address the belt drive issue slipping, I'm going to need a thicker belt. So what I did was took that same cotton string, wrapped it around three times, and then kind of secured it in one spot, and then putting uh, some wax paper around a, a roll of tape, and then uh, coated it in silicone and just kind of did it section by section to make my belt. Uh, it's a little thicker. I mean, obviously the drawback is the thicker the belt, the more friction you're going to end up with. There we go. Do I have any pressure in here? Oh, I get a little bit. So no friction's too high. Maybe with a little more air pressure. Okay, we got a little more pressure in the bottles this time. So you can hear a lot of air is lost in this engine. A good share of the friction that seems to be causing a problem is actually from the pistons coming up inside the cylinders. It may be an issue with the stainless steel and brass, or more likely because I tried to lubricate and seal them with oil, and the oil thickened. So with that much air loss, we're only going to get a few seconds of run time. So, the friction's that much higher. Well, the added friction with the heavier belt made it so the smaller engines would not push it, would not run. Um, maybe if some gearing or something I could uh, make it so they would. But, uh, eh, whatever. So anyway, I adapted it to fit the Pentabello. This is just my first test run with it. So, it's running good down there. This will actually be pulling it along instead of pushing it like the other. It, when you make these by hand, these engines, they tend to spin one way easier than the other. And this is the way this engine spins easier. I can let the air go through a little faster. bit of current in the pool. I think I'm going to try and make it so it spins around a little bit. It's charged about 70 pounds. I'm going to go a little faster this time. Oh! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. I wanted to try a different design for the prop on the boat. Uh, this one works certainly. Um, not the smoothest. I could have sanded that more and stuff once I stack glued the pieces of CD that I made it out of. Uh, but um, nonetheless, I'm going to try and make a small aluminum prop. Just uh, use my same bake pan that I use for a variety of other projects. Cut that out, try to bend it to the right curvature with by hand. The center will be drilled out to match the uh, axle I'm using, which is uh, 1 8th. I'm going to drill a couple, a few small holes around it just for uh, the glue and stuff to come through when I mount it to the next piece, just to help hold it.
sanded the edges, ground them, sanded them. Now I'm going to just sandwich it between two pieces of uh, plexiglass roughed on one side each. I roughed that as best I could, plus I have the holes in there from before. And I'm going to use a little quick setting epoxy. Not sure if this will hold the way I want, but we'll see. Once it's all set up, I'll just point upon the rod up. It's glued together now. One of the things you lose by doing this with a flat piece of metal is the varying pitch that you get just by twisting this because you get a shorter distance here that, the, the, that it travels, so to speak, a longer distance here. So here it's a sharper angle. Here it's a... but it, it's hard to do that with a... And you're just making it with a flat piece of metal. But at the size this prop is and how fast it's going to spin, it'll work just fine. Otherwise, a person could almost take a sideways blades and twist them and have a, a variable pitch that way, but then you'd have to cut it with a bend in it, so that might be tricky too. But uh, I've added set screws in here to hold things into place when I slide it on the shafts. One on that one, one right there. That uh, should help that from twisting off. I had a problem with that last time I ran it. I got things a little looser here. This doesn't rotate quite as, or actually the, maybe the, just this piece isn't centered as well. That mounts out in front of the rotary engine. So if you see it pulses in and out as it runs. And we have our new propeller here. <laughs> they'll push it now instead of pull like the other one did. Gonna do two runs here, one with the uh, new blade and one with the old blade, just to see how it performs. Kind of slow, let's speed that up. The old blade back on. This configuration it's a puller. Let's see how this one does. And we got a bit of a breeze pushing it the other way. This one has a much better thrust, uh, the CD stack cut one. Probably because of a wider, uh, steeper pitch and a little wider sweep. Thanks for watching everyone. We're going to be taking a little break from working on various experiments with the boat. But when I get back to it, a couple things I plan on trying to test is a yet to be built three cylinder rotary engine using nested cylinders and a mini bevel gear design. Once again, thanks for watching.